YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tiny Town VR, and yes, folks, we're back once again, and today we are back with part two of the Big Burger Monster. So, if you recall from the last episode, which by the way, if you didn't see it, I'll flash it in the top right corner, we had a huge burger monster that actually was mutated from the little green barrels here, and it grew up, and yeah, it's shooting burgers everywhere, and it's taking over people. Now, from the last episode, there was a lot of good comments as to what the part two should be. And folks, you're looking at it right here. So we have the ice cream shop. And I'm going to flash the comment on screen. So yes, Carlos had the idea to have a huge ice cream monster. So we're going to probably do it in the same way that the, uh, the monster or the burger monster appeared. And it's going to be using these green barrels. So we'll do it back here. And then we'll have like a big ice cream monster, but things are going wrong because when you mutate something like that, there's some unintended consequences. So we'll go over that here today. If you guys have any suggestions, I'll be doing the little shout out uh, comment thing on screen. So the next suggestion for Tiny Town, you will get that up there. So yeah, comment below with suggestions for future episodes. And while you're down there, maybe hit that thumbs up button for more Tiny Town. And let's jump into this. All right, so I have a bit of an idea here. So we're gonna grab, where's the ice cream shop dude? We'll go with this dude right here. So he sees what's happening and he's got a plan. So these barrels have been dropping all over the city. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab another one over here and duplicate it. And he got a hold of one of these and he saw how the, uh, the burger monster came to be. So he's like, you know what? We can do that too. I guess you could say it's kind of fighting fire with fire. So we'll have him in like a pouring motion down here. So we'll stick him here. Let's turn off snapping. So yeah, he was uh, pouring this out on, you guessed it, ice cream. So yeah, you can see that he's pouring it out on the ice cream right now, trying to create an ice cream monster. Or I should say trying to create more ice cream monsters because folks, we do have one right here. So what we're gonna do, this is gonna look funny. So let's go ahead and start to stretch this, and oh dear. <laughs> okay, that's already getting pretty big, but it needs to be bigger. There we go. So I'm thinking the, the ice cream monster is gonna be a little like taller, maybe a little bit more lanky looking. Like it's not gonna be like a big burger, so it's gonna have some long arms and stuff like that. So here, let's make this just a tiny bit bigger. How about like that? There we go, so it's gonna be like Clash of the Titans, except for its food items. And this is getting really strange, but this is what you guys suggested. That's what the series is all about. So I'm thinking this thing's gonna have similar powers to how the burger can shoot the burgers at people and take them over. Same principle here, except for you've just got a mad creator here. So maybe he's gonna protect him. That way they can get more ice cream monsters made. So we need to give this ice cream monster uh, some arms and legs, and what I think I'm gonna do, we're actually gonna pose a person here, so we'll put it in kind of like a charging pose, and last time I used an alien, and I stuck it inside of the burger and then coated the outside of it with like goo and mustard and ketchup, and it's gonna be basically the same principle here, except for we're gonna use a giant dude, so uh, we need to make this match up, so if we do this, Oh, there we go. Hold on, make the ice cream a little bit bigger. All right, let's get an angle on this. Oh, that looks amazing. <laughs> All right, hold on, stick it a little over to the side. It's not poking out. All right, so we can definitely give this like eyes and stuff. Actually, it should probably be coming more from this direction. So say it was right in front of the ice cream shop and it's kind of uh, gonna cut off uh, the burger before it gets to the, uh, the ice cream shop itself, so. Something like that, I'm thinking. Either that, or they're actually just like, you know what? Why don't we just be friends, and we just attack all the people? That could be an option, too. Alright, so I've started covering the ice cream monster in, like, ice cream, or melted ice cream. So, we're gonna try to make this thing look a bit gross. I need to find eyes. I don't know if I wanna put the big googly eyes, like I have on the burger here. Actually, let's just see, you know, what that would look like. It might actually look cute. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's, that's some bug eyes. Um, maybe we could make it look a little more evil. So let's get rid of those. I mean, we could go with like red eyes, but they might blend in. Actually, we could do like red eyes 
and like maybe black pupils potentially. So we're gonna have to experiment around here. I wanna make a mouth for this one too. Like maybe it's eating people. So maybe I can make a mouth coming off the top of the cone here. That could be an option. This is gonna take me a little bit of work here, folks. Because right now it still kind of looks adorable, even though it has red eyes. Yeah. All right, folks, what I have here has turned into nightmare fuel. So I've been working trying to make this thing look gross, and I think I did succeed in that, but it might look too gross. <laughs> I'm not really sure. Like if I saw this standing on the street, which by the way, I changed a couple things. I, I went ahead and gave it wide eyes. Uh, the red eyes didn't quite look right. But I actually gave it like eyelids and a mouth and yeah, there's like all sorts of flavors of ice cream, which I'm going to add some more coming out of the top of it. We got like a chocolate cone coming out of the top. It's gross looking. Like I'm pretty sure this thing just wants to be melted by the sun or something because, oh boy. <laughs> yeah, it makes me quite uncomfortable. No, it's fine. By the way, this guy, he makes no sense now because he's running towards the ice cream man. Might need to change the direction. So, yeah, I'm going to work on this. Like, it's going to take quite a bit here. I want to have other flavors coming out of it, so that way it looks even more of a monster. So we need to get, like, the uh, maybe vanilla, maybe chocolate, and yeah. Ugh. All right, so we've done some decorating. I've added some more ice cream, and this thing, it's a monster. Like, that's all I can say. It, it looks horrifying. I did not intend on it to look scary or, or really just uh, like a real monster here, but that's kind of what happened. So I've got a little bit more I've got to do to it, but I need to probably start figuring out what we're doing over here. So I have an idea. I'm going to get rid of one beach piece here and we're going to add, where's town? We need to add like a drainage system. So potentially some of this green goo can get out into the ocean and that might explain some ocean creatures that we can do in the future. So if I were to place this up right here, we can finish off the ocean. So let me go ahead and start to do that. That way we can cover this area. And then we could put a busted drainage pipe in here and make it to where it's, uh, it's leaking. So I got an idea. We're gonna make this drainage pipe come out maybe like this. So it could be busted. And so yeah, we'll have it about right there and we'll make some green goo come out of it here in the future. But just trying to set up maybe a future episode here. There we go. All right, so obviously we need to have people on the beach running. We need to have this thing shooting out more ice cream cones. So I'm gonna grab one of these. Uh, we need to size one of these up real quick. Ooh, I got an idea. So why not, here, let me go back to town here. Why don't we put ice cream like oversized cones in its hands? That could definitely be something that would be neat. Oh, by the way, we forgot some of the other things. I remember I was going to stick a popsicle, like, stuck in them, too. So we'll get, like, an oversized popsicle and, like, stick it in this side of the head. There we go. <laughs> I think it's a freak of nature, but, yeah, it's uh, definitely something. Oh, let's get some, uh, maybe, blue ice cream. By the way, what is blue ice cream? Is it blueberry or... I don't know. Uh, what's your favorite flavor of ice cream? Go ahead and comment below. Uh, me? I like chocolate. Ooh. We can use the ice cream sundae in one hand, too. Dude, there we go. All right, that's looking pretty cool. So it's also chunking these ice cream pieces. So these, since it's powered basically by the same radioactive material, uh, these are going to be landing on the people and taking over. But I think it's going to look a little bit different. So say somebody gets taken over. Uh, look at this poor soul right here. So... It's going to be more of a full body thing where the burgers stuck to people's heads. These are going to swallow people up. So let's get this right. So we'll have this guy standing right here and check that out. He's going to have an ice cream body. So that's taking him over and he's doing evil. So it's like we have two armies forming. And the more I think about it, I think this whole situation is going to turn. So this Mr. Ice Cream Man down here making the new monster. I don't think he thought this through. I think this monster is actually gonna be helping the other monster in order to take over the city and infect more people. By the way, if you want an idea as to what this looks like from afar, so say if you're over here, maybe by the tsunami, and yeah, you see that in the distance. 
Oh dear. All right, so we need to add some more beach stuff. Obviously, we need to add, at some point, a port, which I think maybe will be over there. Or maybe it'll actually stretch out over here somewheres. But we need to make more like boardwalk style things. Let's have people running. So I need to grab all the beach people I can. That way everybody's panicking. All right, so I'm decorating like a boardwalk area right now. Uh, don't ask me why they have a canal pipe right here, which by the way, I found a proper pipe uh, for this area. But yeah, uh, right now I'm just stacking stuff up, making it look busy. So you can see the people running into the water. Like this one diver is like, I'm out. I'm just gonna go back into the sea and we'll see what happens. So we'll go over this in more detail here in just a second. I want to go ahead and finish it up. Add more people, add more things. A lot of things spotting the monster. And then we kind of have a blank area behind. So we'll have to see. Now somebody had a good suggestion for the burgers and building like a temple. So say like a temple came up out of the ground or maybe it summoned a temple, but it would be like a pyramid of burgers. So maybe we could do something like that behind it. Not 100% sure yet. All right, so if you look real close, we got a ton of people running now. So you got the people on the beach. Some are becoming one with the ice creams. So you can see a couple infected people. People running through here. Of course, you still have the guy pouring uh, the green stuff, creating more monsters. People running out to sea. I probably need to have a couple boats offshore here. So yeah, they're running out that way. You've got the ice creams falling down from the sky. You got a guy over here doing a real sick trick on his uh, skateboard, which by the way, we can't forget about her. We got to do Oblivious Grandma. You know what she's doing here today? She's uh, really, really in touch with the skate scene. So we're going to have two of them over here. So maybe one of them is just one of the clones. So one's going to be filming for their sick YouTube video. So we'll get that. And the other one is going to be showing this fool over here who's boss. So yeah, she's filming the other Oblivious Grandma doing the most awesome trick ever. Now, it's such an old person thing to do, which I'm sure somebody's seen it during like a family gathering or something, where you got everybody taking pictures with their phones or cameras, and you got the one old person with their iPad, like holding it out, trying to take a picture of everybody, and it just looks really awkward. So that's what the other grandma is doing. That's awesome. All right, so right now I'm just adding some more details in we need to kind of do something behind the boardwalk too. So yeah, that's definitely gonna need to be a thing. But I think for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the uh, the progress we've made here today. Uh, let's see, we need to get some boats out here. I think we'll do a couple of these common boats and then we'll go into the maritime and do a couple more. That way it just kind of makes everything look really busy. All right, so we've added more details. We finally got boats and stuff out here. Let me go ahead and zoom out, kind of give you guys, oh, I <laughs> almost zoomed out into the UFO over here. Kind of give you guys a little bit of perspective as to what's happening right now and how busy it looks. So we still need to fill out this area here. Not 100% sure what to do with that yet, but down here, let's go ahead and do the leak into the ocean. So we're gonna grab, that looks pretty radioactive. Actually, let's do a mixture of these two. Uh, make sure snapping's off. So yeah, there's been a leak. Now, I don't know where the leak came from, Maybe there is a sewer grate or a manhole somewhere that people are pouring uh, the uh, the barrels out in. But yeah, this is going to be very, very bad. So I think over here by the water, by all the boats, I'm going to put a couple swimmers out in the water. And uh, unfortunately, one of the swimmers is going to be in the green goop here. So I'll let you guys decide what happens to him. So maybe we'll have this guy over here. Which, by the way, I don't think you're supposed to be swimming near these things anyways. And, you know, the city probably shouldn't have placed one on a public beach, but yeah. Uh, he's having something happen to him right now. Oh boy, that's gonna be terrible. Alright, so we added more swimmers to the water, added more clutter to the beach. I finally put a gun in this cop's hand. I know I showed it earlier and he wasn't doing anything, but yeah. Uh, he's trying to shoot at the cone. Pretty sure that's gonna be a mistake here. But yeah, I think I'm actually pretty happy with the monster. At first, I was, it looks, I mean, it still looks strange. I mean, the burger looks strange. But I think once you add some more ice cream elements to it, like the, uh, the ice cream in the hands, like the uh, popsicle sticking out of the head and the cone, I actually think it turned out pretty good. So we'll zoom out here. But like I said, comment below with suggestions. We'll do another episode here really soon. We might either wrap up this area or we might move on to something else while we come up with more ideas for the green sledge. But I do want to thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town.